Yo. Yo. Live. Hello. Hey. Hey, dude. What's up, demons? It is I. The man with the legend. What's up? What's going on? What's going on? Alright, I'm just gonna do what are our goals today. Actually, to activate the first thing today is to. Oh, yeah. Two rolls for the day. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, and then we've got these things to activate. Oh, actually, I think I got you once my attention. Go to quest. And I've also got my dailies as well. Wait until the 8. Guess we have to wait. Yes, we gotta wait. Then. Somewhere 8-ish. Maybe here. Yes, maybe. Or is it 8 and 12? Alright. All right. I'll go to Ganyu. <laughs> Where's Ganyu? And why am I looking for Azarik? That's a different... That's another day. We want land right stuff, dude. Man and right stuff. Where's it taking me? Hold on. I need to change the time again. Eight. Around eight. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna Jade Chamber, baby. Okay. Looks like it's about time for us to meet up with Ganyu. Let's head to Yujing Terrace. There we go. Let's head to Yujing Terrace as we go that way. Meet up with Ganya. Oh, Ganja. Do give me some of the Ganja. Yeah. Yeah, brother. Alright. I'm doing just doing the lantern right quest, buddy. Oh yeah. Dude. They're gonna give us so much rose, cause it's lantern right. <laughs> yeah. Can you? A oh, cute little goat ant. Oh she's sleeping, dude. Greetings, Traveler and Paimon. No, oh, she didn't sleep. Uh, what time is it? Are you okay, Ganyu? You were nodding off there. Didn't you sleep well last night? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Let's discuss the matter at hand. Since last time, I've been thinking a lot about the story Paimon told me. In essence, <clears throat> someone rescued a drowning man and performed some music. If that were all there was to it, it could have been many people. Human or Adeptus. But the tune was allegedly so wonderful that the drowning man forgot about everything else, even his own impending death, and only came to his senses after being brought to shore. Perhaps there was an adeptal power at work in that music that he, as a mortal, could not perceive. Or perhaps he sensed a power surrounding him but lacked the words to describe it, not knowing where it came from. Either way, if this part of the story is true, then the rescuer has to have been an adeptus. Adeptus? You really think so? Oh but this my story is all the way God. from Fontaine. Isn't this a bit of a long shot? Also, Paimon's really curious about how people from Fontaine think this fairy lady looked. Um. Maybe they gave her horns? They look just like Ganyu. <laughs> hmm. Guess that does technically make sense. Actually, Ganyu, if you had to save a drowning person, how would you go about it? <laughs> huh? Me? Um, well, I'd get them to the shore, and then I'd probably watch hide behind a, a tree while. and watch them for a while. What the Once fuck? Once I was sure that they were going to be okay, I'd slip away without a sound. Got it. So yeah. basically, Ganyu's a person who doesn't like taking credit for her good deeds. No, it's not like that. I'm just not very good at explaining things. And I also find it really awkward accepting other people's gratitude. Well, Goat. what if this adeptus in the story had a similar attitude? That would explain why she just left without saying a word. She was probably thinking something like, <clears throat> 
One was merely passing by and saw fit to address this egregious disruption to one's graceful zithering at once. You may keep your thanks to yourself. Who's that supposed to be? <laughs> that was actually a very good impression of Cloud Retainer, Paimon. As far as I'm aware, Cloud Retainer isn't the most musically gifted. Still, we can't completely rule her out just yet. Um, if we set off now, we could head to Mount Outsung and ask her about it. You'll be able to confirm either way if it's her, and I can... Um... I've been in Leo Harbor for so long now that I'm just not as familiar with the Adepti anymore. If there's anything we want to know about them, she's the best person to ask. Sounds great! Okay. And we're pretty close with Cloud Retainer by now, so we probably don't even she need to bring her food cook this something. time, right? <laughs> I've prepared a gift God for her to make the festival, just in case. However, um, Cloud Retainer spends most of her days studying mechanisms in her abode. She's on her own so much of the time that the moment she has someone to chat with, she just... Never mind. I promised I'd help Mr. Dvorak, and now that I've made the contract, I can't be having second thoughts. Traveler? Paimon? Let's set off for Cloud Retainer's abode. Seems like this is a tough decision for Ganyu, but she's made up her mind now. Paimon <laughs> gets why she'd be so anxious. And then she'll start telling stories okay, about little about Gandu this? falling down the mountain. If tries to start telling stories about her again this year, we should pipe up and change the topic. Wait, <laughs> did she leave already? Hey, Ganyu, wait up! Small little Ganya. Give me some of the ganja. Alright, let's go. To the mountains. <laughs> okay, haven't been here for a while. <laughs> well, <clears throat> oh yeah, I still got this fucking gin on me. It's probably cooking something. Hey, Cloud Retainer, what you do, baby? Okay, anyone here? Oh, I'm so tired from trying to keep up. Don't either of you need to take any breaks? <laughs> uh, I can't believe it. Cloud Retainer is not here. Huh? Did we miss her? She doesn't like to travel. So in the past, it's always been the other Adepti who come to visit her during the festivals. Oh. Somehow Paimon doubts that anything could cause serious trouble for her. True. Now that I think about it, Cloud Retainer would be quite capable of taking care of anything on her own. There's no need to worry about her. Okay. Since she's not here, I guess the next step is to check all the other Adepti abodes. One by one. Uh oh. Will it involve a lot more traveling? Just fly there, Paimon. Mm, um. Oh, got it! Paimon has a great idea! Please go on, Paimon. Our goal here is to find the Adeptus that helped Dvorak's ancestor, right? We can't hear any music right now, but if she's really as nice as the story suggests, she'd definitely come to help oh. anyone who was drowning, <laughs> right? Oh. Yes, I think that's fair to say. Looks like it's time so, for Paimon to So, all we have to do is get the drown. traveler to pretend to fall into the water, and the Adeptus will come to the rescue! I got a bad idea. Throw you. Throw you. You know perfectly well that Paimon can't swim. Yep, and then... would sink like a rock. It's, that's why it makes it believable. <laughs> The water's pretty deep over there. Quick, swim to the very center. Oh, God. Okay. If you say so, Pie Man. Oh.
I could. A forty. Eh, I'll drown. What is going on? Oh, I passed out. <laughs> How do you feel right now? Uh, Shenha and the Conqueror of Demons. Uh, why don't you say something? <sighs> Please don't make Paimon explain it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, was, I wasted your time, man. We're looking Fuck. for an adeptus who's good at being a lifeguard and playing music. <laughs> but if the adepti aren't going to stay home, then how are we supposed to find them? <laughs> it wasn't me. Nope, uh, can't play yeah, music. so this adeptus is most likely a woman. And I am not an adeptus, as you both already know, Traveler and Paimon. <sighs> Okay, so this is Paimon's fault. No way Paimon would have suggested this idea if she'd known how awkward this was going to be. <sighs> Glad you're okay. See ya. As far as I know, the one you seek is no Yaksha. And one last thing. Your actions here caused others a great deal of worry. Do not repeat them again in the future. <laughs> Uh. As ever, the conqueror of demons comes and goes, just like the wind. Right. I didn't dare to say a word just now. How's your training going, Shenha? Have you made any plans for Lantern Ride? We could spend it together in Liyua Harbor, if you'd like. Oh, I had planned to spend the festival with Master this year. <sighs> However... Oh! Speaking of Cloud Retainer, when did you see her last? Earlier this morning. She set off for Mount Hulao at dawn. I noticed she was using an Adeptus art of some kind to protect a mechanism that looked like a boiler. Oh. Hmm. Maybe it was a gift for Mountain Shaper. I think she's cooking again. I did not inquire. She's uh, cooking, cooking. So we just missed her. Please excuse me for a moment. I think I'll leave the gift in her abode. Sure. Thank you. It sounds like Ganyu and Shenha have gotten a lot closer recently. Yes. During the summer and winter, I continue to train with Master. In the other months of the year, I have been learning to adapt to human life in Liyue Harbor. Ganyu arranged accommodations human. for me in the city, and also recommended several work positions for me. But when I try to blend in by referring to her as Miss Ganyu or Lady Ganyu, like the others... She says I mustn't address her like that. Hmm. Sometimes I'm supposed to copy other people. Sometimes I'm not. It's a little difficult to keep track of everything. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? Hmm. Noted. So, you came looking for Master today because you wanted to ask her about the Mystery Adeptus. Is that right? Yes. Yep. Oh, speaking of that, have you ever heard any music while out training in the mountains? Music? I hear Zhao Kai. What is that? Oh. Uh, <laughs> it's. Uh, it's a sound. A, a kind of a happy or relaxing sound. Or a, a nerve wracking sound. Or even a terrifying one. Okay, I'm done. I also left her a note so that she knows where to find us. We won't miss her again. Yay! That's really helpful. Thanks! We were just talking about this thing called music. And based on Paimon's description, I do believe I hear it every day. Please follow me. Oh, oh really? I really want to want to know what she thinks music is. <laughs> Breaks out the heavy metal.
Okay. Center. Okay. Where the hell is she listening to music down here? Around here? Where? Where is it? Is this the spot? Is this the this, is this the spot? Is this the place? Oh, here it is. Okay. This is the place. I enjoy training here to the sound of music. Oh, she thinks it's silence. The faint sound of birdsong, the quiet murmur of the streams. <sighs> These are relaxing sounds. <sighs> are they not the music of which you speak? Oh! Uh, Paimon wasn't quite done with the description. <laughs> okay, fine, it's all Paimon's fault. What we're looking <laughs> for are not the sounds of nature, but melodies played on special instruments. Oh, and a melody is? Sing your nursery rhymes. <laughs> you sing to glaze lilies. Uh, <laughs> I remember hey, that. Why don't you just sing that one melody Shen has heard before? It'll probably help her to understand what we're talking about. What the fuck? I make noises. What the fuck was that? What the oh, fuck was that? was that? From the opera that Yunjin sang? Mm hmm. That was a melody, and melodies can be called music. It felt like I was transported back to the past. In my mind's eye, I could see the Zhao lanterns lighting up the night sky again. We're all there, raising our glasses and drinking to our heart's content on the Jade Chamber. As I watched Yunjin's performance, I felt a warm sensation in my heart. And as the drink reached my stomach, it went from warm to hot. When you hummed that melody just now, feelings from a whole year ago came right back to me. As strong as they were on that day. <laughs> oh, so ah. that's the power of music. That's the power. Um, wow, no. <laughs> Shenha. That was so deep. But I am also human. It definitely has the power to bring up memories. It's like a time capsule with all the special moments from our life squished inside. What about you, Ganyu? Are there any melodies that have left a deep impression on you? Um, Sing it. I Let's don't go. remember if my parents ever sang any lullabies to me. I know some local folk songs. And a few other things come to mind, too. The songs oh. of the sailors down at the docks. The little ditties that the vendors call out in front of their beloved shops. The tunes of folk artists performing on the streets. Oh, the sounds of... Yes, well. that's right. <laughs> in the past, whenever I heard the sound of those tunes... I always felt that they were worlds apart from me. Mm. Nanny and Leo probably view me as a non-human. And they are right, in the sense that I never could connect with humans' artistic expression and their sentiments. So I haven't been able to integrate into their community and be a part of their lives. At least, that's the view I held in the past. Only more recently did I start to realize that... I'm a goat. The only barriers are ones that I have erected with my imagination. The way those melodies make me feel isn't all that different from other people after all. They're about mundane details of everyday existence. Life's ups and downs, joys and sorrows. Mm. 
Even though we come from different backgrounds and have different stories to tell, when it comes down to the most common things that we see and experience around us each day in the city, in that sense, we're all the same. You go, Ganyu! Oh. You're really making progress. You have loads of friends in Liyue Harbor when you think about it. Like... Um... <laughs> Ching? Okay, maybe some are more like co-workers and bosses. But, at the very least, <laughs> Kuching and Chenna are your friends now, right? Yes, I am. Technically speaking, we should refer to each other by the conventional forms of address used among fellow disciples. <sighs> But now that I know what constitutes a friendship, I do believe we are more friends than co-disciples. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Once I am the days also are warmer, friend. I would like to host you at my home in the city. <laughs> I can't wait to like share comes across as well. Uh, a question where she's just like confused and then she's just like, mm, I'm sure I, some I, of them I, 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 shutting taste. down. <laughs> uh, you are too kind. I couldn't possibly... Nonsense. You are my friend. I have cultivated and cared for the flowers just as you taught me. Once you've seen them for yourself, I am sure you can advise me how to do an even better job next time. I will save some for decoration. We can feast on the rest. Oh yeah, she eats flowers. Bro. Then, thank you in advance. Jeep. Wait, what is that saying again? If you insist... <laughs> Do people say that? <sighs> I'm not completely sure either. It doesn't matter, okay? You got the point across. No need to split hairs. Um, Paimon's more concerned about your idea of a girl's night out. Eating flowers? Eating flowers? Yeah. Really? Does this have anything to do with you both being the disciples of that illuminated bird? That <laughs> kitchen will be munching on these flowers. <laughs> Who dares refer to one not by one's adeptus title, but merely as that illuminated bird? There, she, there it is. That's how you call her. Master. Illuminated bird? Our greetings, Cloud Retainer. Ah, there it is! The illuminated bird is landed! <laughs> Fine, what's gonna get, now she <laughs> gotta get shot, bro. Use it rather than she, even after being chastised once already? <sighs> Barely a moment has passed since we last met, and yet your impertinence has reached new heights. Very well. If you refuse to learn your lesson, one shall scold you no further. One has received your message from Ganyu. On the matter of the Adeptus you seek, one suspects to know their identity. Well, shall one lead the way? I still have to complete my training for today, so I will bid farewell to everyone here. Very well. Await my arrival at one's abode later this night. On this special occasion, you should indulge yourself with some savory dishes. Happy lantern, right? If you want to release a Shao lantern, come and find us any time. Thank you, everyone. Happy lantern, right to you too. Ah. She humming, dude. Hamada, hamada, hamada. Okay. Let me go in. Wait, why are we traveling over here? I don't know why I'm traveling over here, but sure. Let's go, dude. It's fucking split. Hello. Is Bird. this Quailey Plains? Cloud Retainer, why did you bring us here? Hmm? God, you is of course familiar with the name Guizhong. But have you ever heard of her? Uh, it was name of an Adeptus, <laughs> probably. Guizhong is another name of Agentus, the god of dust. She was extroverted in nature and adored social gatherings and inventions alike. 
Long ago, this region was yet a prosperous assembly. Gui Zhang often invited her friends to visit her home, reserving for us seats around the largest stone table. Seagazer would always bring out his latest treasure and place it upon the table. Ah, oh, he could be quite the braggart. Though usually a mild-mannered fellow, when it came to those collectibles he was so fond of, he always loved to show them off. Hyman remembers that name. So that's what Seagazer was like. Uh oh, he it's was an old friend right? and a former rival. I'm gonna get shot. One has many memories of him. Once he had brought out the treasure, it would predictably become the center of attention. Neither Gui Zhang nor one was content to let him just steal the spotlight. So we would then also present our proudest mechanical creations. Okay. As adepti, we were each gifted in our own ways and naturally proud of our accomplishments and our respective fields of expertise. Um, As a result, whoa, one Jesus often Christ. quarreled with Seagazer. It's coming closer. His treasures were not even of his own making. It's getting closer. <laughs> he just used his exploration skills to dig them out of the ground. How, pray tell, could he compare to me when every single one of one's accomplishments were crafted by one's own hand? Cloud Retainer, you are getting competitive again. <laughs> One digresses. Regardless, every time an argument occurred, Gui Zhang would come over to watch us during our mutual lambastics. On some occasions, she would join in, and on others, she'd take one of us by the limb and start uttering the most ridiculous nonsense. What kind of nonsense? No kind of nonsense were we spared. Sometimes she would brazenly opine, Ah, why argue between yourselves when neither of you could ever hope to beat me? <laughs> Other times she would make unsolicited suggestions, such as, Once you two are done arguing, let's go to the foot of the mountain and grill some meat. Let's fucking eat. Let's go. Yeah. She always sought to make everyone happy. And one must say... She had quite the gift for it. No matter what nonsense she said, one never felt bothered or offended. It also helped that she never referred to one as that illuminated, illuminated bird, bird or ladybird. Or lady bird. Ooh, hello, ladybird. You, come on, get over yourself. She still remembers that, man. <laughs> anyway, Clarentina will remember just that. Just <laughs> our impassioned <laughs> arguments would reach the apex of acrimony. Marchosius would bring his delectable dishes to the table. Marchosius? What a powerful name. Who would dare snub the stove god and his wondrous creations? At the sight of him, we would all immediately drop the argument and prepare the table for a night of feasting and drinking. Stove god? Guoba? <laughs> Back then, one was always bothered by how the cups Rex Lapis brought we're always too square for one's taste. Can you see yourselves ever enjoying a drink from a square cup? You have to drink from the angle, I think. <laughs> but yeah, you can't. I I have drinking from Precisely. a square cup. Precisely. So as you can see, even one as great as Rex Lapis was not immune to making the occasional blunder. Even one could never find fault with Marchosius's cooking. As we ate, Gui Zhang would continue to find topics for conversation, filling the table with humor and laughter. Each of those old fossils had their character flaws and points of obstinacy. So why was it that whenever we dined together, we always had a marvelous time? We would drink together from a spot high in the mountains until the moon sat and the sun rose and only then would the banquet finally come to an end. Streetwood Rambler would often remain to admire the flowers with Gui Zhang before returning to her own abode. The glazed lilies were far more abundant back then. 
Entire fields of them would appear to the eye as a veritable sea of flowers. Street Word Rambler? That would be Ping. You probably know her as Madam Ping. Oh, okay. Street Word Rambler? Wait, this is a lovely story and everything, but didn't we come here to find that Adeptus from Mr. Dvorak's story? Or are you saying that it was Guizhong? Didn't she... Um, already... Um... Cooked? Alas, long has one avoided this place for precisely that reason. The sights here are a reminder of a time long gone, and evoke much sorrow. One should have guessed that you would disrupt one's poignant moment of mourning with your incessant questioning. No matter. One will share the whole story with you now. Oh, Grace is named after the fucking... I mean, like, sh they named her. In times gone by, one oh, quarreled shit. oft with Gui Zhang concerning mechanical <laughs> principles. We each had our ideals, and neither would yield. Under the pretext of a social gathering, <gasps> one invited the impartial Rex Lapis to judge the quality of our creations. Oh, that song leaded. <laughs> but Rex, Rex Lapis. Lapis declared that Gui Zhang's obscuro vopus mechanism was superior. Huh. As a Though retainer. one was too proud oh, dude, to she's acknowledge it. <laughs> nice, bro. Let's go. <laughs> Gui Zhang was indeed the superior talent Gui in the Zhang's mechanical cute. arts. As for the story between Gui Zhang and Streetward Rambler, that begins with a certain bell. Streetwood Rambler In Gui Zhang's opinion, while mechanisms were no substitute for human composers, mm -hmm. they were yet capable of producing simple but fine melodies. But Streetwood Rambler believed music to be an expression of the soul, an emotional enterprise oh, that, that could never hope Madame to Ping. be replicated by machinery. They argued endlessly, until one asked Rex Lapis to intercede. He confiscated the bell and designated it for ceremonial use. Thereafter, one would often find them convening in the mountains, discussing music, mechanics, and all the affairs of the mortal world. But these good times were not to last. War what, what, broke out definitely. between the gods and What's soon the engulfed the Guili Plains. Gui Zhang was overpowered by the enemy there? and fell in battle. When Streetwood Rambler and I arrived at the scene at long last, oh, the Yaksha were like sealing some stick. Ruins was her lifeless body. After this, at Streetwood Rambler's request, Rex Lapis granted her the cleansing bell for safekeeping. To honor our friend's memory, one made a few finishing touches to her ballistic device. Oh, and then Guan uses that to fucking Many plunge that fucking sea god from marrying ever again. Greetings <laughs> and goodbyes. Upon what do you gaze? The Guili Plains? No. It's everything. We think of human life as like a lantern that's lit one minute and extinguished the next. Oh, she's gotta grow but are old, we adepti so different? Perhaps as dust settles after a storm, hey. we must one day return to the world below. She can play music? That old lady? One has always been austere and private by nature, and has never relished socializing. One's dealings with Guizhang were born out of discussions on the discipline of mechanics. What? You have loads of friends! And you seem pretty chatty! Just because one is not ignorant of social graces does not mean one is fond of them. One is perfectly capable of partaking in conversation despite being introverted. But in the end, one is nothing like Streetwood Rambler. She is dauntless but thoughtful, not to mention eloquent and wise. Moreover, her friendship with Guizhong was far greater than one's own. Back when they were rivals, they would often compete against one another in the realm of musical composition. That cleansing bell was one of Guizhong's proudest works, having the ability to both compose 
and perform. Wait! That's weird! Didn't Madame Ping say she pestered an old friend for that bell? And she also said something about being a vain beauty when she was young or something. Street word rambler. A vain beauty. <laughs> My foot. That bell has a sad history. Clearly, she refrained from sharing with you the truth of its origins, since the right time had not yet come. Hmm. As for her old friend, who else could it be? As soon as Streetward Rambler heard that a certain Zhang Li wished to borrow the bell, she realized that the man was none other than Rex Lapis, and that he had made an enormous decision. After all, we all have known each other for several millennia. Some things between us are implicitly understood. Wow! So they were talking in secret code? Oh, Paimon did not see that one coming. <laughs> Enough of your intrusions. Where was one up to? Ah, yes. One remembers now. <laughs> The cleansing bell is oh. powered by a mechanical it's bright again. and can be used to great effect as an accompanying instrument. After the passing of its creator, it was used on numerous occasions during rites of parting. But Streetward Rambler did not acquire it from Rex Lapis for the purpose of producing further funerary tunes. No, each time she rang it, it was to play the tune that Gui Zhang composed on it. The two once clashed over their beliefs about the meaning of music. Who would have thought that with Gui Zhang's passing and Streetward Rambler's mourning, two tunes composed in discord would eventually become one harmonious composition? <sighs> Once upon a time, Streetwood Rambler also loved gatherings, liquor, and music. But after Gui Zhang passed, she preferred her own company. She could often be found sitting alone at a mountain summit, contemplating and reminiscing with her zither. The music would go from mournful to soothing to impassioned. Many years passed before she finally composed a melody to her satisfaction. In celebration, she played the tune to the clouds. Regrettably, one has only ever heard her play that tune once. Which brings one back to the matter you've been investigating. Perhaps it was during that performance that the ancestor of your Fontaine friend fell into the water and was saved by Streetwood Rambler. Uh -huh. uh oh, oh. But if she was so happy with the melody, why would she only play it once? One was also greatly perplexed by this. After suppressing one's curiosity for a long while, one finally approached her and asked why she would retire the tune after having spent so long on it. In response, she said, Though the strings that played that melody survive, the one who inspired it is gone. Tell me, Cloud Retainer, when the one attuned to my soul is no longer here, who else could hope to understand this tune? Oh, poor Madam Ping. I just remember being taken care of by you when I was young. Once the Archon War came to an end, I stayed behind in Leoa Harbor to honor my contract. Although I met Gui Zhang a few times, I never knew anything of this particular story. Your baby. Gui Zhang was quite the visionary, but tragically passed before her time. Her manuscripts still lie unfinished in the realm of clouds. The blank pages give one cause for contemplation on what might have yeah. been. Madam Pig lost her friend. Had you not dude. decided to search for that mystery adeptus, Perhaps these stories, too, would have been lost to the sands of time. As of now, you know the truth. 
that the Adeptus who rescued the drowning man was none other than Streetwood Rambler. Do you intend to discuss this with her? Uh, maybe? Do you mean Ping might find the topic too distressing? Precisely. The passing of our old friend is a heavy topic that both of us Tell Yao Yao are to usually do it. careful to avoid. Yao Yao can butter her up and we can get the job done, dude. If I may be so bold, Cloud Retainer, could it be that this is just your own personal opinion? Oh, how so? I've been in Leo Harbor for quite a long time now, and I've witnessed many farewells along the way. So I too am well acquainted with the pain of the passing of a loved one. But this doesn't bring the city or its people to a standstill. They have to keep moving forward. Someone as perceptive and wise as Ping will surely have come to understand and embrace this. Mm. Though these immortal mountains have lost an Adeptus, the harbor of mortals has gained a wise elder. No loss can ever be undone. But there is always much that can still be gained. Ping has helped countless people. Yeah, man. And will guide many others in the years to come. And all to whom she extends a helping hand become her friends. People she can admire flowers and discuss music with. Though it is heartbreaking to lose a kindred spirit. Life goes on. Because there are new friends waiting for you further down the road. Ganya's right. We even asked Madame Ping what she thought about adding a music festival to this year's Lantern Rite. Oh, when we get back, why don't we just ask her if she'd like to perform? Maybe we can even get her up on stage. <laughs> <laughs> you youngsters and your imaginations. Why don't you come with us? It's been a long time since you last spoke with Ping. And Leo Harbor is always decorated so beautifully during the festival period. Is not every lantern right the same in this regard? Were there ever anything new to discuss, one in pink could meet any day of the year. I disagree. Each new day and each new year is different from those that have come before. How long will you simply let them pass you by? Hmm. Dude, the edibles she brought this time were indeed quite delectable. The edibles. Very what well. Eating, man? <laughs> what are you eating? Then one will be off. If the other old fossils have sneaked away into the city to amuse themselves, one shall soon find out. All right. We should be getting back to the harbor as well. We don't want to keep her waiting. Bird. A big fan of once the Gwaley assembly, now the Gwaley plains. Say, if we planted flowers there and cared for them carefully enough, do you think that one day we'd be able to recreate the sea of glaze lilies? Allow one to take back one's praise from a moment prior. You are still far too given to flights of fancy, child. What? <laughs> what? Cloud Retainer, you were still listening? One observed that you were making no effort to leave and returned to chasten and hasten you. This time, one is departing in earnest. <laughs> she just went up and came back down. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to meta paint, but before I do that, I gotta do some fucking resin, dude. I gotta go around with my wrist and shit. <laughs> Add I'm just gonna send my people out. Okay. 
Um, all right. I'm gonna see if I. Oh wait, 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 I don't think I need that. Um, let's open over here. Uh, okay. Gold and gold. Gold in the freezer and light. Maybe. Damn it. Oh, this is useless to me. No. No. <laughs> I'm just trying to get the Oak Archons one. Okay, imprint, imprint, defense. It's like over here or something. Okay, okay. Oh. Let me weave you a verse. Here's the good. Confess. Okay. your fate. Get me. Punch. Um, okay. All right, just trying to get these things out of the way. Uh, there's one in Sagonomia Shrine, South. Gotcha, Ganja. Very nice, very special, very nasty. Okay. Whoa. Oh. Speed. You don't. You didn't know that I was. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Gotta sneak in, dude, like espionage, like a next level, like James Bond spy shit. Heck, this sounds funny, Bond. Alright, oh, he hasn't left, he hasn't left. Hello? Oh, I'm punching my butt hole. Nice. Oh, shit. Oh god. It's so close. Okay, here we go. Boop. And I'm out. Smooth as Yes. 
Last one. <laughs> oh, oh, how long would I have to be in Azuma just to get the old Archons thing? Oh, Archons, please! Oh, Archons, please, I say. I say, please. <laughs> please. And um, Jukichi, the deadline it to return to manuscript is tomorrow. No more delays. Oh, it's just a talking one. It takes weeks. Uh, it, isn't it just like, oh, maybe you should follow the way he writes, but more so if he's taking too long on the... Let's get some material, dude. Hmm. Don't shout here. Where the fuck is that? Oh, it's in the gun. Somewhere. <laughs> Over there. Whoop. 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 <laughs> no, it's not. He's like in jail. Where is that? <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out through meters. Um, this is... Police station, isn't it? Under the police station, like this is police station where Hazel fucking lives. What is this? This is like the Kujo. Okay. Keep the place. The criminals can escape. Uh huh. Cool. You good, bro? Back to the publishing house. Oh my goodness, this man just wants to write some shit. Hello, Shigel, Shigi. Yeah. He's adding more characters. Oh, oh. Okay, whatever. I'm good. I don't care. I don't care about your <laughs> thing that you gotta do. I don't care. I, on the other hand, shall get my primo gems from the beloved Catherine. Yes. <laughs> Catherine. Hello. Ad Astro. Hello. Thank you for completing today's commission. Thank you. Oh my god, the mole. So good. Okay. Hold up. Let's go visit this thing. See if we can convince these. Actually, I might consider doing a boss. Actually, oh, actually, I'll convince it. Never mind. I don't want to do boss. Convince these. Probably do like an artifact thing. An artifact thing. Okay. And let us uh, continue with the. Uh, Lantern, right, so Madam Pink, she is up over here. Right, continuing on. I just really wanted to finish that. Oh, Cloud Routine has beaten us to her. She's gonna say, hey, start spitting that music, son. And she's gonna go. Ding, 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 ding. Something like that. Get an airdrop. Let's. Ah, I done mess. Oh, thank God. <gasps> Whoa. Madam Ping and Cloud Routine? It appears you made haste after all. One arrived but moments before you. Oh, 
Oh, bless my soul. To what do I owe the honor? How nice of you all to come and visit me. Miss Illuminated Bird, haven't you said anything yet? Said what, precisely? And why should one be tasked with saying it? Because <laughs> you're the one who's known Madame Ping the longest. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is Street bird. Bird. Um, Or rather, presumably, you would prefer to be addressed as Ping? Oh, Cloud Retainer, you are uncommonly polite today. Uncommonly one, polite uh, today. Uh, <laughs> uh, hmm. She's so nervous. Given that Lantern Rite is almost upon us, the weather in the city is most pleasant, and a sweet floral fragrance lingers in the air. Go on. <laughs> um, gone you? Please continue, <laughs> Please continue from here. <laughs> Man, you've been alive for how long? Huh? I'd believe you just say blunt. Uh, all right. So, this all started because we were trying to help Mr. Dvorak find the Adeptus who saved his ancestor's life. And we believe that it's you. Cloud Retainer informed us that the one who played that melody and rescued the drowning man was none other than yourself. Ah, oh, let me think. Yes, I do believe I recall that encounter. <laughs> what a long time ago that was. I'm surprised that you still remember it. Even more astonishing, perhaps, is the fact that this story has survived this long at all, when mortal lives are so very brief. <laughs> it appears that she has proven herself right once again. Who's she? The ballista. Like Ow. The Guizhong. Guizhong, that's the one. From the look in Cloud Retainer's eyes, I sense that she has already told you all about her. <sighs> Albeit reluctantly, one might add. Oh, there is no harm done. After all, Lantern Rite's very purpose is to commemorate the heroes who gave their lives for Liu Wei. Although Gui Zhong did not live to see the splendid sights of today, she was as much a hero as any other. She proven herself right again exactly? Once upon a time, she said to me that humans were a weak form of life that she wished to protect with her wisdom. But as she interacted more and more with them, her opinions on them began to change. She marveled at the beautiful complexity of their spirits, the sheer splendor of all they could accomplish through their hard work and intelligence she told us that to underestimate human potential would be to make a grave mistake with the smallest amount of guidance enormous power can be unleashed in them and a human who has reached their full potential may well be her equal someone who could have as much to teach an adeptus as to learn from them. <laughs> she always had a way with words. <laughs> that her mechanical accomplishments were judged superior to one's own was, <laughs> one suspects, in large part due to her sheer eloquence. Speaking of mechanics, Cloud Retainer, do you still remember that potted plant mechanism? The one that the two of you gave me as a gift? Of course. Gui Zhang and Wan both put an immense amount of effort into that gift. It would be no overstatement to call it a testament to each of our individual technical genius. As Gui Zhang once said, it takes every blade of grass and every flower to make a homeland. When I see the sight of Liu Wei Harbor before us today, I am reminded of this. Madam Ping looks very emotional right now. <sighs> of all of us, it was Gui Zhong who was the fondest of these grand and exciting occasions. 
Oh. <laughs> if she were still with us, I'm quite sure she would still be trying to best Cloud Retainer's finest works <laughs> at every opportunity. Liyue Harbor is always filled with the sound of music at this time of the year. If she were here, one is certain that she would seek you out to discuss and debate the virtues of various melodies. Oh, yeah! Music! We've been dying to ask. What was the melody that you played back then? Oh, oh also, with you being such a music expert and all, why don't you join the concert as a performer? I can make arrangements right away. Oh. As much as I don't wish to dampen your enthusiasm, it's been a long time since I played this zither. My fingers don't have the dexterity they once did. And whenever I play that tune, it always reminds me of her. I start wondering what she would think of the changes I have made to her melody. There was a period of time whenever I started strumming, it almost felt like she was back again. Sitting right there on the stone stool next to me, chatting away. Skybracer and Seagazer too, looking just like they did in the old days. No matter how much time goes by, the moment that melody starts playing, it transports me right back to that time in my memory. So the past still weighs heavily on your heart? Well, I would be lying to myself if I claimed to have completely moved on. But that is not to say that grief doesn't get easier with time. Despite the sadness, I have found many things that bring me joy in life. It is simply the nature of the world in which we live that even if one wished to mourn for an eternity, it would be a nigh impossible feat. Just look at this potted plant. Isn't it stunning? It takes an honest and open mind to confront and conquer grief. You have indeed made progress. <laughs> Be that as it may, I shall leave the lantern right stage to the youth of today. Stick it to the what? youth. If you're sure. You got that. Granny! <laughs> Granny? Yeah, and Whoa. Faith. What's everyone doing here? Did something bad happen? Oh, <laughs> and now we've spooked Yanfei. <laughs> no, no. Everyone's just here to give me their regards for the holiday. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm glad. Well, in that case, happy lantern ride, everyone. <gasps> Yanfei. Happy lantern ride. Can you oh, play some music, Yanfei? <laughs> I just remembered that I have some... Uh, work to do at Yua High Pavilion that I need to discuss with Yenfei. I haven't been able to find a chance until now. I will leave Mr. Dvorak in your capable hands. Cloud Retainer, Ping, we will be off for now. Huh? Does it have to be right now? Which case is this again? Hey, Ganyu! <laughs> It seems Ganyu still has much to learn when it comes to the art of deception. What a <laughs> deception. Pity. She has learned nothing of one's ability to carry a conversation. Since it's been so long, Cloud Retainer, She's why don't go you eat stay? Some grass, bro. Eat I'll make a cup of tea and we can chat a while. Gladly. This was one's intention as well. When you next see the Fontaine musician, Please give him my regards. I'd like to wish him the very best with the concert. You got it, Madam Ping. Thank you all. I think you've listened to enough of my nattering for one day. As for that melody, I will play it for you all another time. <laughs> Goodness knows I need to practice it first. Wow, that'd be great. She's gonna whip that we'll zither again, bro. Nice. <laughs> when that time comes, wherever her spirit may be among the countless grains of sand and specks of dust between the harbor and the mountains, perhaps she will look at the Leoa of today and steal a smile when she sees the prosperous land that it has become. All right, let's go tell Mr. Dvorak the news. 
Okay. Oh, is this how big Cloud Machine is? Hmm. This See? is a peaceful neighborhood. I guess the camera angles when they put Cloud Retainer into the scenes make her look huge. No, I don't know, I swear this is like a smaller model. She she was bigger. She could just change. <laughs> she could just change. They're deaf. Does they do that probably? Maybe. Maybe. I think so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dvorak. Where is Mr. Dvorak? <laughs> Whoa, everything turned on. Hey, dude. It was Madam Ping the whole time. And look, it's... Welcome back. Did everything go well? Yeah, she'll yeah, buff. Really well. <laughs> Dendro the buffed. Person Mr. Dvorak was looking for. Uh, are, are you serious? The true fairy, fairy lady to uh, I Mr. see. Dvorak. So the melody my ancestor heard was an adeptus remembering her late friend? That certainly explains why it was such a powerful and poignant tune. Really interesting first reaction. Guess that comes with having a musical mind. So emotion, bro. I have to say though, it, it's hard to believe that the fairy from the tale is now an elderly granny. Oh, Paimon knows exactly what you mean. Normally a deaf guy don't age at all. But Streetward Rambler, or Madam Ping as we know her, probably only became old because it's what she wanted for herself. Madam Ping possesses vast knowledge and great wisdom. Whatever physical form she may decide to take, her mind and wits are as sharp as they come. Yep, Kuching summed it up perfectly. That's exactly what Paimon was trying to say. I think... Mm, yes, I must thank her in person. Wait, that can wait until after the concert, how though. How does her age For work? now, I need to devote <laughs> all my emotional energy Is to the performance. Is she not actually... Wait, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Because ah, they can change up, and Madam shit. Ping wishes you all the so she's just like, I'm just going to be an old woman today. Has she's a stuck with it because she is wise. Stay in her usual spot, but listen to the performances from afar. Wait, are you serious? Huh. Oh no, now I'm starting to get nervous. Okay, all right. Nope, another rehearsal is in order. Please excuse me, everyone. Bro, you got a monocle, bro. You're cool, you're cool, bro. <laughs> Mr. Dvorak? Oh, he's already gone. Paimon wasn't even finished telling him everything. Before we set off on our search with Ganyu, he asked us about what music means to people. After our recent adventure, Paimon thinks we have a lot more to say about that now. Please, share your insights with me. ka Uh, well... We found out that music can be used for good, but also for bad. Um, it can make people happy and moved, but it can also be sad and bittersweet. And music is like a kind of memory written in people's hearts. It can put you in touch with feelings from a totally different time and place. <laughs> It sounds like you had an eventful trip. Hmm. Don't worry. I'm sure Ganyu will fill me in on all the details shortly. Bro, uh, Wait, Ganyu. does that mean you're going to carry on working? Mm-hmm. Just a few things to wrap up. All the groundwork is done. As long as everyone enjoys the festival activities, all our efforts are worthwhile. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Happy Lantern Rite to you as well. Don't oh, work too hard, wise. That should be everything taken care of, right? Oh, no, wait. Paima feels like she's forgetting something. Why? What was it? Oh, it feels like it was a while ago. Ah, uh, shoot! Latent... Wait, no. Anyway, uh... Fancy bamboo shoots! Bamboo soup. <laughs> Jean Lee said he wasn't in a hurry, so if we went now... There's probably still time, right? Anyway, you 
Even if we don't okay. make it, it's not our fault. He could have totally picked them by himself. Ugh. Anyway, let's go check with him at Wang Chung Funeral Parlor. Check him out. The god of all things. <laughs> Wait, did I? Oh, yeah, I picked him up already. It was like when I first met Yao Yao. <laughs> so I got it in my inventory. Where's this fucking old dude? Ah, missed. Oh. Did I, did I hit something? No, it was leaves. Alright. Up here. Oh, wait a second. Where is he? What is that? Who is that? Up here? Oh, is that? Okay. Oh, Xin Yan, Junjin, and Hu Tao. I think dancing. Mm -hmm. da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. What the fuck is happening? Da -da, da -da. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh. All right. Let's take a break here. What? Oh yeah, the, the opening act, right? Oh wow! Look who it is. Oh. Are you here to hang out with everyone's favorite funeral I'll turn director? It down for y'all. So you're just casually practicing <laughs> your rapping skills at the entrance to your funeral parlor? In broad daylight? Uh, okay. <laughs> That's how we do it. That's how we put people in the ground, son. <laughs> After everything we've been through, you don't see me for a hot minute, and you're back to being scared of your own shadow. We have all this open space, a clear view of the mountains behind and the sea in front. Not to mention we have several invisible audience members enthusiastically cheering us on. It's the perfect spot to rehearse. Invisible audience members? They're ghosts. <laughs> Gotta say, it took me a few days to get used to Director Who's way of talking. <laughs> Shin Yan was pretty spooked too when she first got here. Just like when she sees a frog, but a giant frog with sharp teeth. Come on, knock it off. Frog. What's wrong? I've never seen someone look so confused before. Well, don't worry, because Director Who's here to explain it all. <clears throat> there once was a Fontaine musician who went around town on a mission. He came door to door for his iridescence tour, looking for acts to audition. With my words, Shin Yan's chorus and Yunjin as our mentor, we'll take the stage by storm with flames roaring and the whole audience calling Whoa. for more. Why is she dancing up? For sure, the whole dance floor will be yelling encore, encore. Oh, now Paimon's rhyming along. Um, but when you say flames roaring, are you sure this will be safe? <laughs> oh, don't you worry about that. I'm pretty experienced on the stage, and I've already informed the Yuhong of all the pyrotechnics we're planning on using. Huh. The pyrotechnics? Guess we'll just have to trust Chin Yan <laughs> Would it be <laughs> just your vision? <laughs> have you seen Zongadong? Oh, Zhongli. He took one of those fancy meal boxes and set off for the mountains. Said he wanted to pay a visit to some old friends. It's a real pity that he couldn't be around for this. As well as being a true connoisseur of traditional art forms, he's able to appreciate Shin Yan's performances too. Yeah, that's right. Matter of fact, he was the one who first invited me to perform here. To tell the truth though, I never thought I'd really find myself rehearsing here one day. <laughs> well, now you know. The Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is a great location. All of you are always welcome to come and hang out here. Especially if you're in the mood to try something new. Try something new. I can like, speak to that. Hu Tao new? is always full of fun surprises. <laughs> what new? And jump scares. Actually, Shinyan, I have some lyric ideas for your part. Do you want to go through them together? Sure thing. I'm all ears. Oh, Traveler in Paimon, I believe Zhang Li was heading to Mount Hulao, so make sure you're hiking up the right hill. Hiking up the right hill. When you see Zhongli, please pass on this message to him. 
It's up to him whether he wants to support us at the performance tonight. But I expect him to make time for the upcoming banquet we're planning. No excuses. No excuses. You should join us too. It'll be a riot. Banquet. If there's one thing I've learned from being a funeral director, it's how to throw a party. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, everyone. I think that's a long enough break. Let's take it from the top, shall we? Ugh, Miss Yoon is such a strict mentor. These breaks aren't even long enough to have a sip of tea. <laughs> well, you were desperate to get involved, and this is what it takes. If I gave you half the chance, you'd be sipping tea till nightfall. Hey, how about I treat us all to some late-night snacks once we're done? Hotel, what you craving? Hmm, how about some stir-fried filet with a side of crab roe tofu? <laughs> Where are we gonna find crab roe tofu so late at night? We could always just go pester masterful chef Zhang Ling. <laughs> mm, now I'm hungry. Invite her. All right, let's knock this out and then go grab some food. Oh, shit, my camera. How is she sitting like that on the side there? Anyway, let's go to Zongli. Zongli. Where's my guy? My bro, my Zongdong. Zongdonga. Hello. Oh. It's a lantern. Food carver? <laughs> Whatever the fuck his name is. Oh. I'm in Sesame! It's Illuminated Deer! And Illuminated Bird number two! Hmm, a familiar face. Have you come from the UA Harbor? How is the city nowadays? I am. Go. Everything's great! Dear man. But you know, if you're so curious, you can always go and check it out for yourself! In fact, Moon Carver has been taking many walks on Mount Tianhan Look at this guy. in recent times. I believe the sights of the city are quite familiar to him. Zhang Li! Here you are! We've brought the bamboo shoots you wanted. Impeccable timing. Oh, <laughs> that's what they were doing? <laughs> bamboo shoot soup ought to be slow cooked for many hours on low heat. Using Adeptus Arts to hasten the process is something of a shortcut. Wait, that mechanism... is that...? Indeed. Cloud Retainer kindly lent me her supreme cuisine, cuisine machine. machine. <laughs> Cooking machine? <laughs> uh, actually, never mind. Yes, it's the supreme cuisine's machine. <laughs> mechanical gizmos, so it's probably best if Paimon doesn't go changing the name willy-nilly. I trust that you found the answers you were seeking during your recent journey? Yes. Excellent. The past should be remembered, but not overly dwelt upon. Our journey should be seen as a means to take on more from the world around us. When the bamboo shoot soup is ready, I must insist that you try some for yourself. Yeah, of course. Wait, all, all, all the time. All the time. She said, Gentlemen. it's up to him whether he wants to support us at the performance tonight, but I expect him to make time for the upcoming banquet we're planning. No excuses. <laughs> when she says performance, she must be in the Lantern Rite Music Festival. As for the banquet, uh, she didn't tell us anything more about that, but she invited us to come as well. As you can see, I have a prior engagement with two Adepti friends of mine tonight. Please. Give director who my best wishes for the performance. As for the banquet, hmm, since the director insists, far be it from a mere consultant like myself to refuse. <laughs> Yay! Then we'll see you there? I shall be Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Mm. Mingle Lapis, with the people. The bamboo shoot soup is ready. Bamboo shoot. Bamboo Thank shoot you. soup. I will examine it right away. <laughs> the bamboo shoot mm. soup. <laughs> Your appearance is exquisite. The supreme cuisine and the machine. Aroma rich and intense. The craftsmanship of this machine is commendable indeed. Since you came all this way, you should not leave empty-handed. 
Please, take some soup. It tastes most exquisite while still warm. Beats. Oh my god, the soup machine. So, so what you guys doing? Had one known that Cloud Retainer was in possession of such eminently useful devices, one would have sought to borrow one from her long ago. And yet, since you share my lack of enthusiasm for mechanisms and fine dining, it would have become a mere decorative ornament in your abode. Not so. Had one had such a device to make up for one's lack of culinary prowess, Shenha would not have had to rely on flowers and herbs alone <laughs> for sustenance while under one's care. <laughs> Shenha just be eating hmm. raw, bro. In that case, shall we rendezvous with Cloud Retainer one day soon and request to borrow one more Supreme Cuisine, cuisine machine. machine? Supreme Cuisine. A fine idea. A Supreme a fine Cuisine. Idea, indeed. Bro. Look at these idiots. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I go back. I got some soup. Soup. Eat soup. Nom, 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 soup. <laughs> Give me the delicious soup. Huh. Hello. Oh, here we go. Wah. Wah. <laughs> I'm honored to be here on the Iridescence Tour stage. All right, without further ado, I'm Shinyan. This is Hitao, <laughs> and this is a little something called. Oh, she's so oh this is like an animation, animation. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, look at Goba fucking run. Look at that guy, thick guy. Look at that thick man go. <laughs> they don't see the go of a fucking rat, bro. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. Let's go. Hey, you Who tells so cute, dude? Goba Goba though, look how fucking squishy that Does man is. Does anyone have any plans tomorrow? With another year behind us, I think mm. we deserve a celebration of our own. Mm. My treat. Interesting. Jalen. The Tian Xuan footing the bill? <laughs> I can't miss out on that. <laughs> oh, trouble? Oh, Baiju. Mm. And Chi Chi. Rune guns are still activating and shit. <laughs> Release your lanterns. Whoa. Look at him smooth, dude. <laughs> master, master, <laughs> May the year ahead be a blessed one. I believe it shall be. The Shao Lanterns, I... Ha! Elementary! One shall fashion for you a Shao Lantern, the likes of which the world has never seen. And you must take it to Liu Ai Harbor to display its magnificence for all. It's a rocket. <laughs> this is a cool sequence. The zither? You hear that?
Woba, dude. Oh, and fucking Xing Chu's here. Hey, <laughs> that's that's pretty cool. Was that okay now I need to get a move on and write my next song <laughs> listen to you you only just fulfilled one lifetime dream are you really thinking about your next goal already don't try to tell me you ain't the same way I bet you've already thought up a name for your next opera haven't you <laughs> you know me too well Xinyan the adeptus seeking voyage how does that sound <laughs> I'm on, bro, I'm on yeah, my next adventure to find that fat gober thing. <laughs> it's so squishy, dude. It's like a bear. And the celestial melody echoed through the clouds forevermore. Mm, forevermore. <laughs> oh, it's going to from your breeze. Isn't your music oh, so pleasant? Hmm. Ah. I was just curious of what Snitch 9 was doing here. Okay, cool. So. We're now get that done. So the two. Quest. Oh, there's a third one. Epilogue. One day. Okay, it's time to do the event stuff. Let's do... Oh, look, it's... I can see it's Madam Ping right here. You see that? You see that shit? Okay, cool. Let's do this. This is the combat one, right? Uh, go to challenge. Yes, it is. Wait, can I just teleport directly? Nope. Okay. We'll go here instead. Right. For now, I was just fucking watching a movie. <laughs> now I'm actually playing. <laughs> now I will play the video game. Here we go. <laughs> Let's fight something. <laughs> Behind the scenes, defeat nine opponents. Okay. Treasure hoarders. Do it. Body and mind. No, my sword. Oh, it's working. Oh, he exploded. That guy freaking exploded. Witness the power of Gua. No, my soul. All right. Boop, boop, boop. Truth hurts. All right. Okay. Here we go. Huh. To go to the next challenge. Oh. Why don't they put more wind currents? Whoa! Um. Ooh, slimes. Let me leave you a verse. Rain outlines your fate. <laughs> Power core. Let's sweeten the deal. What? Oh. Okay. Beat those slimes up. Whoa. Let's go. Glide across. 
Up. Where am I going? They should just make this permanent. This is fucking fun. I want to travel around just like that instead of just thingy. Feels good. <clears throat> they should just do it in like, one stat because it's the win place, but whatever. Here it's the good. The more Someone, you. Okay. Confess. Yeah. Bring it on. Should be the last one. Hey, fireworks. Bam. And this one should be done, right? Boom. Ooh, very soon I will get my very own Yao Yao. Mm, delectable. Very, very nice. Alright, let's do some boating. Give me to the alcohol. Give me some. Wait, what? Oh, I want to go to the crux. Yeah, there we go. Thank God they made it into a teleport. I remember you had to teleport to the thing and then you had to jump down. Or like drown and not make it because you were cool like that. You wanted to drown because it made you feel alive, or was alive, because you're now dead. Okay. Start Vigilance at Sea. Ooh, now it's 3,000 3, points. Oh, I, I don't think I played this one. Mystical Elevation. Whoa. Oh no. Oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, coinage. Oh. Oh, flaming Cheetos. Okay, hold on. Oh. I'm just gonna kill myself. Okay. There we go. Oh, coins are over here. Okay, and there's some coins over here. Go. Ah! <laughs> that was all right. I think one more shall do. Give me enough points. One more. Ooh. Crossing the thrumming wave. Okay. Thrumming waves, I see. Oh. Oh, it'd be, be, it be thrumming around. They should have. Man, for the, they should have put the, a fifth event. Just make the Eater event, where it's just a music thing. Or where we play without drum. Different Genshin tunes. That would be sick. I'll be down for that. Cause like that was like that's to be honest, that's like like favorite. It's just a rhythm game, dude. Oh god. God. Okay. 
Okie dokie. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah. Yeehaw. Okay, I should have it. What I could do today. I should have what I could do today. Let's just hope the rain up. Okay. Ooh. Primos. How close I am? 420. Nice. Up. Up. 3,000 I have reached. That is the cap right now. That's all I can do. Paper theater. Uh, let's go. Paper theater. Let's see where this takes me. A firework inspired by a warm hearted little girl. Alright, get out of the way. I'm here to do the paper theaters. So, you guys ready? Yes, I am. Um, a cross mountain scene. I actually don't mind this one. This one's kind of. Whoa, okay. Huang Wan can leap from an upper level of the stage to a lower level via gap. But if he falls through a gap on the lower level of the stage, he will fall off the stage. Performance a failure. Ooh, actually, this might be a little bit hard. Okay, where is he? Okay, he's trying to get into the... He's trying to get to the chest. What is that? Right? Drop onto the chest. The time of reunion is brief. What is that thing? What's this thing? What what is that thing? What is this? I guess it's nothing. Here you go. So we just walk off. Probably past this? I'm not sure what that is. Right? Hopefully it's not like a portal. Oh, it's a rock. Uh Okay. If he walks off, he'll bump into the the vines. So do I want him to? Oh wait. I have an idea. Boop. Wait a second. <laughs> uh, wait a second. If he drops. Wait, 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 how about collect him? Yeah, 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 he'll drop onto it. What a genius. Mm, beautiful. Beautiful. Yai Bing is so... Is today wholly alone? And how shall I return to the Adept Dai's home? Okay. So he gets blocked by this, so... I pop him here. He'll go back. What? I can swap these. Hmm. I don't know. I can pop him here. He'll go across. How do I get him back? Oh, maybe. I need, to, I need to get him coming back for this one. Hold on. What if I do this? Boop. Right. Boop. And then boop. And he's like, what up? Guess the chest. Woo. 
What a genius. A lover you must find, a partner for life, for tears to wipe when sorrow is rife. Oh, and that's it? Nice. Okay. Give me the Latin points. Thank you. Cool. Alright. Next on our list. Alright, that one. Cool. What was this one about? I forget. Oh, it's the, the speed one. Oh, over here? Okay. I follow, I follow you, I follow you. It's the speed one. Made to make me go fast. There Rain is. outlines your face. No, my sword. Magic lamp. Oh, there you go. Can't move it. Oh. Fracture. Witness the power of God. Look at me. I wonder when the uh, monster's gonna get get its like serious story quest. Because they wait, they had what was it? They had the uh, this story. They had the, what was it, the, the one over there, with sealing it Osayo, and what was the other one, the, the Zhao one, I'd count it as a leeway quest, it's like, it's one of like the main, main story, like, heavy, uh, story beats, the one with both stations, who are they called, what, what, what who are they, the Yaksha story, yeah, the Yaksha story. You know? I wonder if we're gonna get it, like, in Sumeru, the Academia story. Which is like, there's one of each person in one of the five. Oh, where the fuck are we going? Oh yeah, got this. Look how fast I am. Oh shit! Oh, god damn it. What one was it? E? I was doing T. Oh! I'm a fool. Oh my god, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a goddamn fool. Okay. Wait, how do I... Wait, what? Oh. Why can't I go on the other side? Oh god, please, for the love of shit. God damn it. Uh, 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 give me another chance, boss. Give me another chance. <laughs> give me another chance, boss. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked that up. Okay, here we go. Okay. Order. Order. Ah. Duh. Oh, God, for the love of shit. Here we go. Okay. Oh, I went in that time. Fuck! <laughs> Damn it! Why am I a fool, bro? Why am I such a fool? I just don't. This instinct. Just, just go. Go. There we go. Oh. God damn it. Hit. There we go. That works. Hit. And a hit. 
her. Gently. Yeah. Oh, we're going to the Leeway Harbor. Oh, 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 oh. Okie dokie. Boom. Boom. Jump. Oh. Oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. I forget it, it automatically puts you in flight mode. Yeah, don't worry about eating, dude. Ooh. A minute 19, try again. Quicker, faster, better than before. Here we go. Quicker, faster, better than before. Quicker, faster, better than before. Quicker, faster, better than before. <laughs> Here it is. Boom. 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 And then boom. Yep. And a boom and a boom. 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 Jump. Boom. Boom. And a boom. Nice. Bang. Wait for it. Drop down. Got that. Cool. Boom. 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 You want to perfect this. Like this. Nice. Here we go. Boom. Ooh. Oh my. What? Get in. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And up. And up. Let's go. Minute four. I can do it under a minute. I can do it under a minute. I can get four thousand points. <laughs> I was I was drinking. I was drinking, dude. Okay. <sighs> I fool, dude. It's not going to give me anything. I just want to be the fastest. I want to be the fastest here. I'm the fastest. You pressed for a while. Yeah. Okay. Let me in, chief. Oh, I collected one? Are you sh sugarcoating me, dude? Oh, my God. It should have collected two. Got it. Under a minute. Here it is. Under a minute. Boom. Oh. Ah. I'm drinking. I'm, I'm swimming with the fishes, dude. I'm swimming with the fishes. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, okay, I got this, I got this, I promise. Trust, bro. Trust. Trust. Here we go. Boom. Doom. 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 Oh, collect these. Doom. Doom. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. Oh dear lord. Cause it's cause it's it's cause I'm I'm Aussie, bro. I've got that delay that I have to fucking think about. Yeah. Okay, this is the one. Okay, the button. <laughs> I think me sprinting fucked it up for me. Okay, this is the one. This is the one. made
I was manufactured. Yeah. Die. I was built a little bit. Oh shit. Differently. Is that the one? Two seconds. Okay. Ah. I'm pretty sure you can do it in a minute. I'm pretty sure you can do it within a minute. It's a waste. <coughs> you can do better. We can adapt. Right. Put a little bit of speed in there. Oh. My tick is its technique. They just tell you fuckers, this is all about technique, bro. Let's go. I think that's the one. That's what I'm talking about. 59, baby. Eat my little bum. Little bum, bum, bum. Let's go. I'm at Lantern, right, dude? That's how I arrived. I was built a little bit. Special. I can't get on that. Oh, God. How'd they get this here? They're massive. Oh, God. Okay. <clears throat> Cool. An Osa. Got things over here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Battle pass. Increase energy. Okay. Okay. Looking good to me. And this. Yow yow. Give me. Mm-hmm. Now we wait till the next day. Man, she looks good. That's Madam Ping. She's playing that zither, baby. Okay, what is this? That dog. That be that in in the Zuma dog. When can I get yo yo? So close. So close. Okay. Now, I think I, yep, I did all my resin stuff, but where do I put my resin? Where do I put it? Where does one put the resin? I know for a fact that my 
my child is weak. So maybe I should just get some child. <laughs> my child is so underpowered right now. I don't know where he is. He's like this looking guy. Oh my god. I can barely punch it, bro. Why are you built like this? Why are you like this, man? Why are you like this? But I also want to get some safe. Some, some, some of these. Hmm. <laughs> what should I get? I don't know. Okay. Oops, no. Fuck. Here we go. Gold is always good. Gold. Right. Yeah, it's not her day. And he's gold as well. Huh? Oh, it's gold. See, yeah, it's gold. Yep. Some of these gold too. Yeah. What are you? Oh, spirit. I guess I can just save. Right, and then I can just use it for. Use it when uh, tomorrow because it's an everyday kind of thing. Hmm, I've been using the need prosperity actually. This, oh, this. Prosperity for Chi Chi? Nilo also needs. Oh, he, she needs that one. Interesting. Freedom. Oh, what do you need? Hmm. Let me see. Let me see. What do you need? Light. Like the Arataki people. Gold as well. That's funny about that. She's only like 666, right? But she hits like a fucking truck. <laughs> I don't use her, but she hits big, even though I haven't really put anything into her. I think I can wait for tomorrow, uh, next day. Right? What is this, 19 hours? I'm trying to think, when do I get back from work? <laughs> 19 hours, I can get back to work. Get back from work, 19 hours, right? And four, six, seven, eight. And I can probably save one more condensed resin and then I shouldn't be resin wasting, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'll save up five condensed resin. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. All right, I'll end the stream now. Uh, just gonna double check if this is all done. Oof. Yeah. Should be all good for me.
I'm gonna stick by the uh, thing so when I do wake up, I can just get, put that condenser on. Put the condensers in there. Right. Oh, good. All right. Thanks for dropping by, guys. Um, yeah. All right. Have a good night. Good day. Good afternoon, demons. I have been the man with the legend. Good night. Boot, 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 boot.